guys, it's Adam the Science Student here, and today we are going to be going over genetic drift and gene flow, which are important ecology terms, and it's really just stuff that goes over the processes that alter genetic transfer, genetic variation, and so the three different genetic or two different genetic drifts are Founders effect and this bottleneck effect, and so what are they? The Founders effect is results from emigration which is a colonization colonization of a new location. So it's whenever a group moves from one place to a new location. It's different from immigration. Immigration is a new found, or a, a group moves into a, a place that's already found. This is into a new location. So immigration. It's a little different from immigration. So keep that in mind. So that's the founders effect. The bottleneck effect, which is also which is typically tested on the MCAT. So you need to know this for the MCAT and you need to know this for general ecology too, is caused by drastic reduction in the population size due to disasters such as fire, disease, hunting, um, earthquakes, you name it, anything that's natural occurring and is drastic. It makes a big change in a reduction of the population size or yeah, just reduction of the population size. We have gene flow also, gene flow is just another Another term that can go with ecology is gene flow is genetic exchange with another population. So we see gene flow happening in populations of the human populations. We see gene flow happening all over. Really, it's just the uh, when you have one fit male and attraction, the females are attracted to that, they may produce, and your your ultimately natural selection happens, and your more fit traits move on. The founder's effect may not represent the population that it had come from. Same with the bottleneck effect. I'm going to repeat that process or repeat that for the course of this video because that is very important. So I'm going to show a little, draw you guys out kind of what this thing means. I hope you guys wrote this down. If not, you can rewind it and uh, write a bit of it. Write or write some of it. So let's see. It's clean. I'm gonna try to do that one. I'm gonna do that one right now. So let's say for the founders effect, so F1, let's just say this is in a certain area, say it's a certain ecology, it's a certain environment. A new area. Okay, so in this area you have some homozygous traits, homozygous dominant, and then you have over here some heterozygous, some homozygous recessive and then a homozygous recessive well let's first say these are these are turtles and they're in one pond and a certain amount of these pond maybe some of the maybe the uh, homozygous recessive turtles the smaller turtles don't necessarily thrive in this with with all the, the homozygous homozygous dominant turtles, which may be the bigger, larger turtles. So they move, they immigrate with the E, immigrate, move to a new location, into the new pond, and then this new pond may have an area where they can thrive. And also some homozygous and heterozygous will come along with it. So, a key note, which is what I said I'd repeat, is that the new population or new area, location, does not necessarily represent what was the dominant or the dominant trait. It's not, it does not represent what, what the original population, what, what the, what the uh, ratio was. This is a new ratio. So that's what founders effect is. You can think founders, they found a new area. The bottleneck effect, we're going to draw, uh, try to try draw my best version of a bottle. So we have a bottle here, and here in the bottle we have, and this is a certain pop, or a certain environment once again, so you have some homozygous dominant, you have some homozygous recessive, you have some heterozygous, you have a little bit of everything in here, certain ones will be more dominant than others and let's per se a 
a huge volcano erupted. So a volcano erupted and it shot and it killed most of this population and the only ones to survive were the homozygous dominant and a few heterozygous. So out of this population, a huge amount of them died, or let's just draw two of them maybe. Killing off all dominant recessive uh, chromosomes and only leaving heterozygous and dominant ho do uh, homozygous dominant genes. This killed off, it killed off over 50% of the population as we can see, because there's four here, two here, and only the most fit survive. So the only one most fit to survive this volcano eruption moved on. So this, like the founder's effect, does not, this population does not, this population's uh, genealogy does not represent the original population. It does not represent. And as you can see, only the more fit, so homozygous A, as we can see, was more fit to survive the eruption. And let's say we were talking about birds. So maybe homozygous dominant A were flying birds and they were able to get away. And homozygous, or homozygous recessive birds are unable to fly or they're not unable to fly as high. So their traits were not able to survive the volcano eruption, which is once again, a drastic change in the population due to a random event. Genetic exchange with another population for gene flow. So that is just two different population sizes. So you have some homozygous dominant and homozygous heterozygous, and then you have a lot of recessive over here. Dominant homo homozygous recessive. These can always mingle and produce different different offspring and their offspring do not have to represent or do not represent do represent their starting point or what what their ancestry is so that's gene flow so it's a relatively simple idea of genetic drift genetic drift is both the founder's effect and bottleneck effect so bottleneck you could think that's why it's called bottleneck and that's why i drew the bottle i didn't really explain that but the bottleneck effect only some of these guys can come through only some of them can get through and survive but most of them don't get out most of them stay behind most of them are die off and it's due to these traits and both genetic drift and gene flow are ways to show that well, the evolution in there is what why, what evolutionizes and what doesn't and why does that happen and what survives and where do these different groups of animals come from how do groups of animals change so Ecology is another topic I'm going to be coming over this, this next year, and uh, I hope you guys can check out more of my videos. I have several different lists. This is going to be my first ecology video, and I'm going to have more to come. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's Adam Science Tutor. Please email me if you have questions or anything you guys would like me to go over next time. Thank you.